who are here, I think probably you know my background, but just to give you why we are here today is uh, because I get a lot of requests for corporate training now. I think probably you know people are aware that um, I speak in public, and um, you know, I I don't know. So few people get the impression that I'm a motivational speaker. I'm not. Uh, but this is just to help uh, you know people um, who are stuck in their life because I have uh, been stuck in my life for you know, many number of times in different different uh, you know section of life I was stuck and whatever is my learning because uh, you know in the last 15 years of my journey as an entrepreneur and uh, as a as an employee of a you know organization and running my own consulting company um, I met with quite a few. Uh, you know, uh, successful, um, I would say business mentors, okay? Not only business mentors, I met with some spiritual mentors. Uh, I met with, uh, I read quite a few books of uh, mind programming, NLP. So what I'm going to share with you today is all about how each and everyone can benefit out of, uh, you know, simple, five simple st steps which anyone can take away and can implement in our life and become hugely successful. How can I say that? Is because I have implemented that in small little ways in my life. I have seen uh, the change. I definitely believe that it will change with your life. Okay. So there are some logics as well. I'll explain you how exactly uh, you know we, we do it. Okay. So uh, let me get hold of the. Okay. So these are. Uh, if anyone is aware of something called NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, there are bits of NLP. You know, here we'll be uh, discussing that means. Uh, how you can program our brain or our nervous system so that it uh, you know works for you. There are books as well like Psycho Cybernetic or Subconscious Mind, NLP. There are so many books as well. But what I'm going to share with you are practical five steps which which anyone can take and implement in any aspect of life and become hugely successful. Okay. What are the five steps? Okay. So I'll be touch, touching up on different things. Uh, for example, whatever we want is uh, something call it a physical thing okay or we want it to manifest in our own life okay so let's take for example i want uh, you know a material thing like i want a nice flashy car okay so that is a physical thing i want or i want a better relationship with uh, my kids or my wife or my mother or anyone okay so these are the things which i want okay so that's physical thing or you want a promotion in your job or you want to lead a better and happy life, okay? So those are the manifestation of what we want in our physical life. Now, this is something called, that is something called a mental as well, okay? What is uh, mental? That means uh, whatever we want, um, you know, to happen in our life, first it happens in the mind, okay? So a lot of time I have seen people, they want to reduce weight but they try their best to reduce weight, but they are not able to, they struggle with it, okay? Because they want, you know, to cut down, you know, the, the diet and they want to cut down, uh, you know, they are sort of, uh, you know, fatty food and they want to get on to the exercises. But after some time, they do it for a few, uh, few weeks or a few months and after some time, then they go back to the same, you know, weight around. And then while reading and studying, uh, you know, the, the reason why it happens, I found out that uh, you know the mental programming hasn't been done okay so that means we want certain things in physical to happen but mental things uh, mentally we haven't programmed so let's go back to so what we are we just discussing here today is about five different things we can do whatever we want to manifest in our life it uh, can be done but if we focus on this part okay this will automatically be coming okay? so let's talk about that first thing is uh, let's take an example. I um, I want a promotion in my in my job. Okay, I want to get from let's say a certain salary. I want to double my salary. Okay, or I want uh, you know I am in a team lead position. I want to get to a managerial position. Whatever that is. Okay. First thing, what what we want has to be uh, written down. Okay. So. This is so very important. I remember I had listened to it a few times, but I never did. Okay, writing down what I want. Okay. So, now, why this is very crucial is uh, because whatever in our mind, it has to, to manifest in uh, you know, the physical world. 
it has to come out from our mind to something physical so that our five senses can feel and see okay uh, through our five senses we can uh, you know help those five senses or the five senses can help us to manifest those things in our life writing down okay so when we are writing down so whatever we want let's take an example i want to you know uh, quit smoking okay so you put it down i want to quit smoking now I want a five bedroom mansion, okay, five bedroom mansion. I want to be more happy and fulfilled in my life. Whatever that is, it could be material things, could be, uh, you know, spiritual things, could be emotional things, okay, whatever it is. I want to be loved more, whatever that may be, okay. So, but this has to be written down, which is so very important. After we write it down, okay. In a piece of paper, what I, uh, you know, I suggest or what I have done is, uh, you know, I have uh, prepared, um, I used to put it in a sort of a pad, now I have a proper book. And this suggests that you can also put it on, on a board as well, uh, you know, um, and write it down. Okay. But very important is not only writing it down, very, very important is another two things, which I never knew it before. What are the two things? After I write down, okay, I want to quit smoking. That is what I want. Along with this, so that we were discussing about the out of the five, the first is write down. So, along with that, uh, you know, whatever I want, another two things is so very important is why do I want? Why? So, now why this is very important is for example, I want to quit smoking. Okay, now this is something which is in my mind, I want to quit smoking. But our mind does not understand it until we explain it. Why do you want to do that? Okay. So, for example, I want to quit smoking because smoking, uh, you know, will injure my lungs. Okay. And um, I want to avoid early death or I want to avoid cancer. Okay. So, why? I want to feel more energized. So that means the why is so very important if we just write it down without putting the why or without taking the time to uh, you know write why do I why do I want that then probably this is just um, a kind of a dream I have I, I'm, I'm never serious to get there because I'm not giving my mind the the reason why it should work to manifest whatever is my uh, you know in my mind physically to manifest itself okay so now another thing very important is after i put why do i need that okay why do i need that five bedroom house because uh, you know when we are putting this why you'll always find that it becomes a bit emotional okay so that means you are you want to bring in the feelings okay um when we are talking about i feel i will feel lighter or i will attract more people or i want to uh, you know be there for my loved ones because I want to live longer. Okay, so that means here comes the feeling attached to my what I want. So that means this is write down what I want, but then I'm backing it by why do I want. Another thing about that is that I said you know what I want, then why I want. This is has to be you know again written down. You know why do I want it? And the third thing again, this is extremely important, which I took a long time. To uh, do it, and after I did it, I have seen miracles. What is that? If I do not want to do it, okay. If not, then what? So that means if I leave the way I have been living the life, so that means if I don't quit quit smoking, if I I'm happy with wherever I'm living, I don't need that five bedroom house, I don't need that you know Lamborghini, or I don't want to develop my relationship with my loved ones better relationship okay if i don't want to be more happier what will happen so that means if i keep my life the way it is what is that which i am not going to take or i am not going to like like it so this is also important that we have to write it down one two three this is what i am not going to like okay put it down uh, you know why not or if not then then what will happen this first step it will trigger a sort of a mental, uh, we call it a psycho-cybernetics or mental 
um, you know, dynamic mechanism whereby our mind will start to work for our dream. Okay. So, after, if you are here and, and I'm just uh, sharing some ideas with you, if you are implementing that, I'm sure you'll come back to me and say that, okay, I did that and it really helped me. Or it is helping me, I'm changing myself, you know, within. So that is the first step, okay. Now the second step, what we are going to do, so after I write, we write it down and the writing, okay. Writing of uh, the why, then if not, then what, okay. The second thing is quite very important as well. So our mind now knows, that means we are giving it enough information then we have to, again with the process of mental to physical manifestation, the second step comes with involving our five senses involvement, okay? So I'll explain a very bit more about that. So that means after I write it down, why do I want it uh, and what do I want? Then we have to, uh, you know, break it down Anything, uh, you know, get, getting into our mind or gets into our mind through our five senses. This is not a rocket science. All of us know about it, okay? Now, whatever I have written down, the mind can only understand it, okay? If we involve the five senses, that means whatever we want physical to happen, it has to happen as we uh, understand, as we know that it has to first happen mentally within. So for example, this house or the building what we see around, it was in somebody's mind before, before it manifested physically, okay? So, so in our life as well, if you are going to manifest something physically, then it has to be mentally happen. And I know what is that I want, then mentally it has to happen. So this process now is going it you know, deeper and deeper. So I know now, what do I want? Now, the second thing what I'm doing is I am mentally, you know, conceiving those ideas, okay? Whatever I want, I want to mentally think that it has already happened. That is also very, very powerful. Five senses involvement, that means I have to mentally conceptualize or encapsulate in my mind that it has already happened. Because if it's happened mentally, it will happen physically but it has to happen mentally first. If I want to uh, uh, you know, have a six pack, so mentally if I am not, I have never seen myself six pack, with six pack then physically it will never happen. So it has to, I have to see myself, not only see, you know, only five senses. The more senses we involve in our process of manifestation, uh, physical manifestation, the quicker, we will get there, okay? So what does that mean? For example, if I want to, first is the most powerful uh, out of the five senses are the sense of vision, okay? Okay, like Helen Keller said that a lot of people have the sight but not the vision. <laughs> Helen Keller is a very, uh, you know, she was a visionary without a, without a sight. So vision, so that means, uh, you know, if I want to cut down weight, do I visualize myself, you know, having that uh, slim and trim body or six pack? Or do I visualize myself, uh, you know, um, having that nice flashy car? So this is very important of, you know, us, after we list down, then the vision has to be, you know, um, you know, physically we have to, have that vision. So how do I do that? Let's, let's talk about it. So if I want to um, um, cut down my my weight or I, if I want to have six pack, then probably I have to go and look for someone having a six pack. Okay? Have that ideal body who I strive to become or, or you know, who is kind of my role model. If I want to have a Lamborghini, then I need to go and sit in a Lamborghini you know, or go for a test ride, okay, so that I could have that vision, that means I know what is Lamborghini and 
I am there. So they always uh, also it is suggested that get somebody to take a picture of you with a Lamborghini. Okay. So if I want to have a beautiful relationship with someone, then I need to have that uh, you know um, pictures a picture of me with that person having a good relationship. I may not have that now, but I have to get it in my vision whereby, for example, if somebody has a good relationship, okay, a lovely, lovely couple or parent and uh, children relationship, okay, I, if I have a role model, it's, it's good that if I could put them as my role model and uh, put, uh, you know, sort of, you can manipulate, you know, um, you know, probably your head, you know, you can put your head, uh, take a picture and uh, put your head against that other person's head, you know. So that you feel that okay, now I am, you know, with uh, I am with my my son or my daughter, and we are having good relationship. Okay, so we are having good good time. So whatever we want, okay, it has to be first is you know we have to get that vision, and that vision comes from the picture. So we have to physically have those pictures. Okay, we'll talk about that as well. And then the third step, what do you do then? Is once you have the pictures. Or the uh, you know pictures uh, printed out. The very important is the printed pictures. Um, and the second thing is uh, our second senses. Okay, you have to involve more and more senses. Is the sense of um, hearing. Okay. So what do I mean by hearing? That means again we have to involve another uh, sense organ of ours. Then let's take for example if I want a nice car. Do I I uh, hear the revving sound. Okay, how does it sound when I rev the engine? Okay, now if I want to have a you know um, uh, you know sort of uh, you know good uh, relationship with someone, then how do I react or how do I respond to something you know that person says? So that means as you involve more and more senses in our process of uh, you know accomplishing our uh, you know uh, goals physically, then hearing does uh, come into play. So that means if we can integrate hearing into our five senses, that will be really you know, helpful. More and more senses. You may not be able to put all the five senses um, you know, in, in practice, but if you are able to, that will work wonders. Okay. Now, then the third thing is uh, smell. Okay, nice car if you want, then could you smell the leather? Okay, if you could go and sit in a car and uh, you know just for a test drive, or if, are you able to smell the leather? If you are able to, then that feeling has goes inside your brain. Okay, that means smell of leather. Or if you if you want uh, in a certain position in your office and uh, you know you know that uh, you know let's say uh, you know your uh, boss you know you, you want your boss cabin. So you go to get in, and uh, you know one special aroma is there in that room because of some uh, you know, uh, room freshener or you know some some kind of aroma or smell. Then if you can just you know take that smell within yourself, okay? Then we'll talk about how do we you know implement these things as well. So then you have involved another sense, you know, in the process of accomplishing what you want. Here then comes uh, taste. If I want to cut down weight, what do I need to do? I can definitely work on my taste. That means I have to link, uh, you know, the taste of greasy, oily food that I do not like. It. I will love green leafy vegetables. I love the taste, the energy what it gives, you know, the freshness what it has. So I have to link, you know, my sort of, uh, you know, uh, emotion. Okay, here the taste, you know, um, the the tasting emotion to that food. Okay, that's 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 also you know quite important. And then uh, the feel. Okay, so that means uh, if I want, uh, I'm driving a car uh, and I want to drive a nice flashy car, do I feel? How do I feel if I touch the car, touch the seat or the steering wheel? Okay. If I want to have that uh, chair in my in my office, you know the the, the manager's chair in my office. You know, if I touch it, how do I feel? Okay. So everything boils down to these five senses. Okay. 
So after I do this, so that means practically I have to go and uh, look for opportunities of how do I, what are the five uh, senses, how can I incorporate um, you know, these five senses uh, in my sort of uh, you know, manifestation process of uh, you know, accomplishing my physical, physical needs. So after I do that, I do this exercise, this exercise has to be done, that means you may have to go out and do it or you may have to you know, make yourself in that position where whatever your dream is, so we just link up with those you know, five things we are linking it up. After it's done, the third step. Now, slowly, slowly, it says everything is sinking out. First, it was in air, you know, it was in our mind. Then slowly, we are getting into our mind within our five senses. Okay, so, so my mind, everything is starting to happen. But the third thing is uh, the morning ritual. Okay. Now, this is the most important thing. Okay. If I have written down my um, you know, things, what I want or why I want it, I am very clear. I have the five senses I've identified um, as well, and uh, you know I have those data fed into my my brain. But this ritual, I have to practice it on a daily basis. How many days? Twenty-one days. Twenty-one days of practice makes it perfect. Okay, twenty-one days of practice. What does that mean? So that means. If I want, those are the things. So, let's like for example, I have pictures. Okay, I have put the pictures of uh, you know those that um, you know six pack one, or I have put the picture of that uh, you know mansion uh, next to the beach. Okay, whatever that is, then I have to make sure that if I do it today, then tomorrow morning. Okay, that's why morning is important. We have uh, three state of our minds. So you would know that conscious, subconscious, and unconscious state. Okay. So when right now we are kind of conscious, we are aware of what's happening. Okay. Subconscious mind, we call it an alpha state. Okay. So that means uh, that is the, the state of mind. Um, we just before you go to sleep, we're a bit drowsy at that time, or after you get up from bed. Um, that is the kind of a subconscious state of mind. And unconscious, kind of when you are deep asleep then you know, that is kind of a third state of mind. So the alpha state of mind, when you are, you know, um, feed our brain, okay, whatever we want, okay, and our, the feeding process happens in this subconscious state of mind. So that means we want to feed these information into our hard disk or in our, in our mind, best is at the beta state. Now, let's do this uh, as well, uh, you know, or let me tell you how do we put things into our brain. So these are the things which we have now as a data. We have experienced that, we have this, uh, you know, um, uh, pictures, so I, know, uh, I have the feeling um, and smell, taste, all these things are there. Okay, you may not have all five. If it's all five, you can involve in your, uh, you know, uh, process of, uh, you know, like whatever you want to accomplish, if you can involve those five senses, that's nothing like it. If not, and more and more, for example, this will be definitely there if you can involve more. Uh, vision and feeling, you can definitely involve these two. If you can involve um, uh, you know, any of these three, that will, that's also better, okay? Even I have met with some of our, our senior, uh, you know, sort of our business mentors, you know, they have even visualized on themselves that they can, they can see themselves, uh, you know, climbing some certain stairs, okay? Or climbing the stage, you know, the, the steps of the stage to, to get recognized at a certain level in the business. So that means they have all, all of us, you know, people who are successful, they already practice it. And we just have to practice that. That's no wonder that we can also be successful. Okay. So, Raymond days. How, what is the ritual? Okay. We'll do it, uh, you know, right now as well. Uh, how do we get into, even if we are uh, conscious, very conscious right now, we can get into the alpha state of mind as well. Okay. Uh, better if you do it in the uh, in the morning as well. Uh, you know, anytime also you can do. Uh, but uh, the process also you have to be very clear. What is the process? So you have to first uh, sit in a very relaxed position. For example, you are sitting on a chair. That's really good. Sitting on a chair, and you have to uh, close your eyes completely. Okay, and then uh, you know your hands uh, on your on your thighs uh, or on on the chair itself. You know. So we for. To, to trigger your alpha state of mind is very important that uh, we get physically because our mind and uh, you know, our body you know they they have to 
be in the same. Okay, so that means I cannot get my mind to an alpha state of level, uh, state of mind without uh, my you know physical being or my body being quite, quite active. I cannot be exercising and I can get into the alpha state of mind. It's not possible. Okay, so I have to my body has to slow down to a certain pace so that this alpha um, uh, state of mind triggers and subconscious mind is active. Okay, how do I do it? So. The process is first I you know sit down with uh, you know the hands and uh, you know legs, and uh, I can I can do it uh, do it here so that uh, you know you can you can see how I do it. Okay, so like this. Okay, and uh, closing uh, close your eyes and then for example if you want to stretch a bit you can do that as well. First you start with your uh, you know uh, toes okay from from the leg. You know, so bottom up slowly, and then your feet. So you just have to feel that your toe, your 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 feet are extremely relaxed. Okay, and then your calf muscle, your thighs are getting so light and relaxed. You are feeling, or you are invoking a kind of energy within your body slowly. Okay, it's complete relaxed position. Then you move up. Okay, your your tummy. Okay, and uh, your chest, your uh, you know, um, back, okay, it's completely relaxed, all the stress are gone, and uh, you know, you are feeling that lightness in your body, okay. Now you move off, okay, and your neck, your arms, uh, you know, that's completely relaxed, and you feel that it is, it is so light, okay, and then you move off uh, with your chin, and your, uh, you know, nose, and uh, you know, eyes are getting heavy, and you're feeling a bit drowsy and sleepy, and your foreheads are frown free and uh, you know it's completely relaxed and in your entire body you can feel that it's so light and relaxed and this is the stage when you uh, when you trigger or you invoke that absolute uh, relaxed uh, body that is the process of invoking your uh, uh, alpha state of mind that means your subconscious mind is active and while your eyes are closed then you just visualize you know those that that car or that body what you wanted or the relationship what you want okay so what you want just have to visualize that is already happening that means uh, if i want to have a beautiful relationship with uh, let's say with my wife uh, we are you know um, you know laughing you know uh, together you are having that uh, you know good time together on you know, on a holiday together or if i want to quit smoking you know, I can feel the relaxed, uh, you know, uh, sort of um, of my state of mind where I have completely given up smoking and, uh, you know, um, and I'm feeling that freshness of energy within our, my body, okay? And that's so powerful, okay? I want to accomplish, let's say, I want to have a nice five bedroom, you know, mansion in my, uh, you know, next to the, to the beach. So do I see myself, that, that uh, picture which I had taken, so I have to see myself, you know, living in that house, do I, do I see, do I feel that breeze coming from that beach, okay? Do I, do I, uh, you know, uh, look at the sandaliers, do I, do I, uh, you know, feel that, uh, you know, the, uh, the elegance or the, the, the luxury of that house, okay? So every step, so the more and more we involve our five senses and visualize, first is the vision, okay? Then you have to see that, uh, you know, second, for example, I have captured um, a smell, do I smell that leather or do I smell that breeze, that, that the, the sea breeze uh, smell, the beautiful freshness, fresh wind coming in, okay? Do I, do I feel that, okay? If I want to, uh, uh, you know, have a, a rich lifestyle, that, that the luxury, the, the, you know, the, the richness what I want, do I have that, uh, you know, how do I see myself, how do I feel that? So that is so very important that we feel it, we see it in our mind side, we smell it in our mind side, we uh, taste it in our mind side, and then the more and more, the, you know, uh, and we hear it in our minds, uh, you know, ears, and then slowly we'll see that it is, uh, it, it is going to work for us. So with that state of mind, with all those things, if you can, if more vividly we can imagine that, it will, uh, you know, or we are triggering the process of manifestation slowly by our mind. And then we slowly will come back to our original state of mind by feeling that okay, I am getting this uh, you know consciousness within my body now. So now I am going to be fully active. Okay, my 
hands and legs and my muscles and every, everything, every muscle of my body is fully energized now and now I am off for the challenge, I am going to accomplish that, okay, so that is, that is so very important. Now, while we are in that state of mind, hearing, we uh, discussed about that hearing, so that Another thing which is really helped if we do not have a, you know, a hearing sense uh, you know, have to be implemented is the self-talk which really helps. Okay? So that means if I want to cut down my weight, I should say that, okay, I, um, you know, in a, in a self-talk I can put in that, okay, I'm feeling energetic, I'm feeling beautiful, I'm, I'm feeling uh, so much lighter. If I want to um, drive that from my Maserati, I feel like, oh, I'm driving the Maserati, I'm feeling really great. So when you are speaking, that means I'm hearing what I'm talking and vision and hearing, we are doing it together so that mind is bombarded with two different senses being involved, okay? So that is the ritual. How many days we, uh, we have to force? I mean, this rituals, I have done it, uh, you know, or started doing it for a couple of days, then third day, you know, um, it may not happen. So, but when I, I started to do it for 21 days to stretch myself. I have seen that it, it happens. For example, I start just doing exercise as well on a daily basis. Two, three days and third days, okay, I don't feel like, but if I force myself to do it, then I've seen that it works wonders, okay? So, with the rituals happening, okay, it's extremely important that, uh, you know, we, and the fourth step, okay, is uh, something we have to be, okay, awareness okay so what is that awareness so that's another important thing as we start our day with our morning ritual throughout the day we have to program ourselves uh, or we have to be very much aware of what is happening in, within our mind okay now this is a big learning for me probably all of you as well can be you'll be benefited out of it awareness that means uh, you know knowing that what is happening in my mind okay so being aware that means 